Hey guys, in this video I'll show you how I check toe angle on the front and rear axles of this car. This is the most accurate method I found for checking toe angle at home, so let's get started. I'll start by checking tire pressure and I'll set it to the pressure indicated on the driver's side door jam. In my case, I'll set the front and rear wheels to 32 psi. Now I'll drive the car back and forth a few feet while holding the steering wheel straight this will settle the tires and suspension on the ground evenly. To take the toe measurements, I will use four jack stands, a ruler, a digital caliper, and this bright yellow crochet string for the video, but I normally use fishing wire because it's a little bit more accurate. I'll tie the string to the top part of the stand which is flat, and it allows the string to slide up and down for height adjustment. Now I'll place the jack stands behind the rear wheel, and the head of the front wheel. Next, I'll set the string height. The middle of the hubcap is the ideal height, but the Toyota logo on this cap makes it difficult to measure from here, so I'll set the height to just below the hubcap. Now I will measure from the ground to just below the hubcap, and adjust the string height to be the same. Make sure to check the string height a few times until it's even on both sides. Adjusting one side will change the other side slightly, so it takes a few adjustments to set it up perfectly. Alright, so I got the string height set up. Now I will set the distance from the wheels to the string. On the rear, I will set the distance to 60mm and on the front to 62.5mm. So the front distance is bigger than the rear, because the front wheels are closer to each other than the rear wheels, so I'm adding extra space on the front wheels to make up for the difference. The distance between the wheels on the front and the back is called the track width, so to find out your front and rear track widths, I recommend checking with your dealer. I've also placed a link in the video description below where you can look up your track width, but the information there is not always 100% accurate, so I recommend checking with your dealer. Once you have your front and rear track width, calculate the difference between them and divide it by 2. And then add the result to the wheels that are closest together. On some cars, the rear wheels will be closer together compared to the front, so you'll have to add distance to the rear wheels instead of the front wheels like I did. So I'll set the caliper to 60mm and lock it in. And now move the jack stand until the distance from below the hubcap to the string is 60 millimeters. And I'll do the same on the front wheel, but I'll set it to 62.5 millimeters here. Make sure to set the caliper to the proper size each time you measure if your front and rear track widths are different. If your front and rear track width are exactly the same, then you can use the same distance on both the front and the back. Now I will check the distance a few times to make sure it's perfect. I got the strings set up on both sides. Let's take some measurements and find out the toe angles. I'll be measuring the distance from the string to the edge of the rim by pressing the flat end of the caliper against the rim here. Hold the caliper right against the rim, making sure not to tilt up and down. And while holding it as straight as possible, open up the caliper until it's right against the string, but not bending the string outward. And I got 29.57 millimeters on the back edge of the rim, so I'll measure the front edge now. and it's 30.54, now I can calculate the toe angle. So to find out the toe angle, always take the measurement that is closest to the front of the car, in this case 30.54, and subtract the measurement closest to the rear of the car, which is 29.57. So I got 1.03 millimeters, which is positive, meaning that this wheel is towing in. If the number was negative, it would indicate that it's towing out. If you're not familiar with toe in and out, toe in means the wheels are pointed in towards each other 
and towards the middle of the car, and to out means they're pointed out, away from each other, and away from the middle of the car. Wheel alignment specifications are usually given in degrees, so to convert from millimeters to degrees, divide the result, which was 1.03 millimeters, by the distance between the two spots the measurements were taken from. This is a 17 inch wheel, which measures 470 millimeters from one edge to the other, so I'll divide 1.03 by 470, then take that result, put it into arc sign using a scientific calculator, and the result is 0.13 degrees of toe in. You can also use Google search and type in the search box as I have shown on the screen, but replace 1.03 and 470 with your measurements. Make sure to include the words two degrees, otherwise the result will be in radians. Now I'm gonna measure the toe angle on the other side. And I have 28.89 on the back edge and 31.26 on the front edge, which means I have a toe in of 2.37 millimeters. Using the measurements from both sides, I will add them up together to get the total rear toe now. So I have 3.4 millimeters or 0.42 degrees of total toe in. And checking the measurements against the recommended values for my car, both measurements are within the allowable range. So now I'm gonna check the front wheels. I have 30.12 on the rear edge and 31.79 on the front edge. So this wheel has a toe in of 1.67 millimeters or 0.2 degrees. And I'll check the other side. I have 31.52 on the rear edge and 30.51 on the front edge, which is a toe out of 1.01 millimeters or 0.12 degrees. Note that this was the first toe out measurement because the result was negative. All my other results were positive, indicating toe in. So now I can calculate the total front toe and I have 0.66 millimeters or 0.08 degrees of toe in, which is very good because it's really close to zero, which is the middle of the allowable range. The ideal toe setting for the front of this car is zero, but every car has a different specification, so you'll have to check your measurements against the allowable ranges for your car. If you liked it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I'll be posting more videos in the future. Thanks for watching.